everyone welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and today we'll be designing these awesome uh, navigation icons and navigation bars uh, inside Adobe XD using the new features that is our blend modes which are pretty pretty cool and as you can see they blend in with the icons so well so without further ado let's get started with the video okay before we start Go ahead in the comments right now tell me which one is your favorite is it number one is it number two or is it number three which is the image one let me know in the comments right now now we'll start off with a, a standard 1920 by 1080 artwork we'll give it a slightly grayed background so that we want so that the navigation items are easily displayed on screen. Okay, so I've created a rectangle here in the, and I'll put it in the center. And as you can see, this is path four. So to start off, we will import some icons that I have downloaded. Okay, so the icons that I'm gonna pick up are from Remix Icon, which is an open source icon library, icon system as they say, and they have over 1,700 icons. So check it out. Now I've already laid down the icons that I needed from the website over to here. And as you can see, uh, each one of them have this gradient that I've made, which is which goes from a light pink at the bottom to this uh, very uh, faded and light uh, purple at the top. So that is how you get the, uh, the gradient effect. To make sure that we have the sections ready, make a rectangle over these icons, you want to remove the border. And inside the fill, you want to give this same gradient, which by the way, I have already saved here. And now to give the blend effect, we're gonna go to the blend modes on the right here. And I want to say difference. And make sure that this rectangle is on top of this icon. If you go back to the layers panel, as you can see there, the rectangle is at the top. Make sure that's uh, there. Use these anchor point, uh, these circles, which are close to the anchor points just drag these circles in to make a pretty good circle and i want to obviously make this smaller so that it actually looks uh, like a circle and there you go we have that quick circle ready now uh what we need to do is create another rectangle which covers the same area but is white in color and i want to select this white rectangle on top and the rectangle at the bottom which is essentially a circle and say command shift m to mask it over here and now what i want to do is move this circle down uh, below the actual nav bar so that it vanishes completely and uh, now it comes the icon is back in its old state and what i want to do is essentially copy this mask group uh, copy this mask group just say command D to duplicate it and now you can see mask group 12 as well as mask group 13 and I want to just shift it over here I'm just going to you, you can't really see it because it's invisible but you can see the blue lines and as you can see I'm shifting it right over this icon I'm going to do this uh, basically three more times say command D once and then shift it over now that we have everything set up here, what I'm gonna do is duplicate the entire artboard, say Command D again to duplicate the artboard. You can click on Control D for Windows as well. In this artboard, first of all, I want to animate for the home icon. So we'll select group 12, which is our first group. I'm gonna click on this group and it has now expanded. And I can select the circle, which is rectangle 11 in this case. And uh, I will want to shift it up like this. And uh, if I and I will now just scale it up. I'll scale it up by holding shift and holding the uh, the top white dot here and just shift it like that. And in the other end as well, I'm just going to shift it just like this so that we are covering the entire area of the rectangle. Perfect. And I'll duplicate it once again. And in the next in the third step, I will shift the circle so called circle down and I will also make sure that the circle is small and retains its earlier shape and push it down like this and in the second mask which is the second icon here I will expand the mask select this so-called circle here and I'm gonna basically shift it to the center and expand it uh, with individual sides holding shift and just dragging these anchors out perfect 
So let's try the prototype out. So we'll switch to prototype mode on top here. And if I click on this home icon, um, I will get this arrow. Shift this arrow to the second artboard. On the right hand side in the interaction panel, I have tap, of course. Uh, I will shift to auto animate and I'll say ease in out 0.5 seconds. And we'll do the same for the second artboard, but we'll select the message icon and we'll just drag this uh, icon to the next. And we have the same setting set up by Adobe XD, that's convenient. And if I click on the first artboard and go ahead and start the preview from here, I will click on this home. And as you can see, this is expanding just like a circle. And if I do the same here, oh, that is really cool. I mean, that might be cooler than our original, but okay. Okay, for our second design, I will essentially copy the old artboard over and I'll remove all these colorful, vibrant icons from this panel. And I'll change this gray color to a white color so that uh, we can move ahead with the second design and give it a slight shadow as well. Okay, so for the second set of icons, I'm gonna pick some hollow line icons from here. Uh, you can pick up the, these fill icons as well, but make sure they're from one of these icon packs which have a, uh, an artifact in the middle, as you can see. And if I go back to my artboard, I've already placed these icons in the middle here. And as you can see, each one, each one of these has an extra artifact. So this has an, a plus icon, this has this kind of like a dash icon, and this has a square in the middle. So make sure these have something in the middle. And uh, what I'll do is I'll duplicate each one of them. And if I double click, uh, since this is an SVG, I can uh, essentially delete all the anchor points on the outside. That is what I'm gonna do. If I click on delete, it'll automatically delete the ones on the outside. The one which is highlighted in blue will be deleted. So I want to delete each one of them outside and I just want to leave this circle which is a square in the middle, but I want to remove the inner square. So it shouldn't be hollow anymore. So I'll remove all these inner anchor points and that's it. Now we have a complete circle. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a, uh, you know, kind of like this light blue, or this uh, slightly towards a turquoise blue, but a light blue, of course. And increase the uh, opacity to 100, make sure it's 100 opacity. And uh, from normal, I'll shift it to color. At the bottom, there's an option called color. I'll click on this. And as you can see, only the portion that it is over in the icon, in the grayed out icon, is highlighted in that color. That's cool. Now I'll do the same with all of these icons. I will essentially double click, remove the outer portions of all these icons and make sure only the inner artifact like this dash is remaining and I'll change it to the same color as this. Make sure it's 100% opacity and change the, change the blend mode to color just like this. Place it in the center over this. Same for all these icons and I'll quickly just skip that portion. As you can see, I have now completed all the blue icons and I have placed them with the artifact here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the artboard, say Command D to duplicate it. And in the second one, for the home, what I'll do is I'll just expand the square all, from all the sides essentially. Make sure that it covers the entire house just like this and maybe a little more. I'll show you why I'm doing a little more. And from the assets panel on the left, I'll make sure that I've selected the path, which is the icon at the bottom. And I am also increasing the size by just dragging from one of these anchors by holding shift. As you can see, it just uh, scales up in that direction. And I just want it to be as big as this. That's it. Uh, we'll duplicate this once more to show you the effect once again. And I'll make the, I'll first make the square smaller and also make the house come back to its original state, which is about this much. Mm, perfect. And I'll make sure that the circle is as big as the inner circle and just covers the inner circle again. Perfect. And for the second icon, I'll do the same. I'll make sure that it's a bigger icon, nevertheless and it's centered hopefully. 
and uh, this blue uh, blue artifact I'll just expand just like this just like this rectangle and I'll expand it in the direction that I want by holding shift and that's about it so if we go back and go to prototype and if I click on this house I can drag this arrow icon to the second artboard and our settings have already be, been saved to auto animate ease in out 0.5 seconds will make this 0.4 seconds for this one and in the second artboard if we click on the message icon it should shift to the third artboard with ease in out auto animate and 0.4 seconds so let's try this out if i click on this house see how it beautifully expands and it's as if there's a line animation with the color and if i click on the message see how it beautifully expands as well and the other icons really become small again so that was the second one now let's move on to the third design for the third design i'll take a blank slate again by removing all these icons and everything around them i'm going to place these icons again on this and i'm going to make sure that these icons are 100 percent in obesity now behind each, now i want to create rectangles over this but uh, i want them to be full width from left to the second icon like this and I want that one side of this or one edge of this rectangle is actually rounded. So I'll click on this expand button and this is essentially the fourth one. So I'll say 50 on the fourth and as you can see it's taken the shape of this rectangle in the background. So I've already downloaded a couple of images, these mountain images in, uh, in my downloads folder. All I need to do now is drag these mountains out and paste them above this rectangle and I'll just leave it and as you can see it's basically just put it inside the rectangle for me now once this image is set up I want to create another rectangle which is as big as this uh, but it just covers this much of the portion and um, I want to select this rectangle on top go to this uh, Mads Schmidt who is essentially the creator of this photo and select both and say command shift M to mask over it and this entire mask group what I'm going to do is rather than saying pass through on the blend mode I will go and say overlay now as you can see the image is essentially vanished now we're going to do a little bit of magic so in the background this white navigation will change to a slightly grayed out navigation and the more gray you make it the more image you'll be able to display and for now I just want it to be a slight image in the background so just this much of gray is fine and for these icons what I'm going to do is select this icon individually uh, which is path 16 essentially and I'll make this gray as well so again remember the gray the darker gray you make it the more of the image it will seep in and if I make it slightly darker perfect we want this effect to uh, take place and we'll do the similar thing we'll just copy the uh, rectangle from over here make sure that this image is slightly smaller as well make sure this image is smaller so that we can fit it here and uh, what i want to do is drag another image which is this blue image of a uh, mountains essentially want to paste it over this image so just drag it over here and as you can see we are able to paste it over here just inside this mask group mask group 17 and make sure it's right here and remove the image from the background uh, if you want to which is Matt Schmitz or something like that and there you go uh, as you can see we have this effect uh, taking place mm. but there is a slight bit of problem here first of all make sure that this mask is not so wide that it's covering the area of the other icon and uh, this we also must change the grayness of this icon so make it a little more gray uh, so that it takes in more of the image wow perfect and we're going to do the same for all these icons we can do the same we can place any image as we want so essentially what i'll do is first of all i'll move the first image uh, down a little bit so that it's outside the mask and i can't see it anymore and in this as well i'll remove it outside the mask again so that i can see it anymore and i'll select the artboard say command d to duplicate it for the first effect um, i'll choose the first mask which is mask group 16 and i'll move this image towards the top just like this 
and uh, you can make the icon a little bigger if you want as well but I'm just gonna keep it the same and I'll duplicate the artboard once again and I'll remove this first image first of all and for the second mask I'll just bring this image of these blue mountains to the top so that we have this blue icon kind of effect here perfect now if you go to the top if I click on prototype and I click on the home icon I'll drag the arrow to the second artboard and I have all the settings the same auto animate easy now 0.4 seconds will change this to 0.5 and for the message icon, I click on the message icon and bring it to the third artboard here with the same settings. So if I go and preview the prototype, if I click on this home, wow, see how it blends in with the icon? We'll do the same for the second one. Wow, see how it blends in perfectly with the icons with the help of Blend Modes NXD. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to give this a video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for weekly videos every Monday as well as Thursday. I'll see you in the next video. God bless you all.